Speed of Sound by Coldplay. So this song is in standard tuning and the piano part, it starts like this. So I'm playing here an open high E string, third fret of the B, second fret of the G. Then we're going to play the same thing, but we're going to take this first finger off and play the open G. Play that again. And then bring the pinky here on the fourth fret of the D. So the whole bit together. So that again, that's the opening piano riff. It's not played on guitar, but if you want to play it on guitar, that's how it goes. So then for the first verse, there's no guitar, but the chords, if you want to play the chords, are A major, E minor, E minor again, and then D major. A major, E minor, E minor, D major. Then we're back into which we've already played. So then the second verse we have um, one sequence round without any guitar on, same chords as the first verse, then we have this. So we are playing seven of the D, six of the G and five of the high E. And I'm going to slide that back so that this plays the G here. So. so that new shape is five of the D, four of the G, and three of the E. Then we're going to play G, E, and then D string. And then G, E string. I'm going to slide back to the second fret of the G and then we're going to play two on the G and two on the high E string. So. And repeat. But we're not going to play this. We're just going to come back to this second fret here of the um, G string. So. Then we have the pre chorus, which goes like this. So I'm playing seven of the G. The open B string is going to play throughout this riff and then five of the high E string. So the open B and the five on the high E, they don't change. So I'm playing seven of the G and I'm playing the strings G, E, B. And then G, E. So. And then repeat that, but we're going to play the sixth fret of the G string. and then four of the G string. And this one is double the length. Then the same again. And double the length again. 
So for the chorus, we're going to play this. So we're playing a G chord, which is 12 of the G, 12 of the B, 10 of the high E. I'm just going to strum that. Then we're going to play a B minor, so we're going to play 11 of the G, 12 of the B, and 10 of the high E. Then back to the G, back to the B minor. And then we're going to take the first finger and bring it back to fret 9. And then back to that G chord. So again, it's G, F minor, F, uh, sorry, B minor. Repeat. First finger back. And then G chord. So the other guitar part goes a bit like this. So, I'm just going to play through this slowly because I'm trying to break it down note by note, it's probably pretty complicated. So, So I'm going to do that one more time. So the next verse, we're going to play A, E minor, E minor, D. Then we're going to play something slightly different, A, E minor, then we're going to play D twice. So again, A, A major, E minor, E minor, D, A major, E minor, D, D. Then we've got this. So we're going to play seven of the D string onto the G fret 9 and the E fret 9 and slide that up to 12 of the G and 12 of the E. Then we're going to play G E. Keep the 12th fret on the G and come back to the 10th of the E. Play those together. Then G and E and then 14 of both of those strings. So slowly. Then we're back into the pre-chorus and the chorus. And then the 
chorus, etc. with the other bit. Um, and then we go into the last part of the song. So after that chorus, we're gonna play a D chord here on the 10th fret. And then we have. So on the G string, that's 12, 11, 9, 11. And then we're gonna play that D chord one more time. Then we've got the pre-chorus again, but this time it's slightly different. So we're going to play the first three parts the same. And then we're going to change from this fifth fret to the fourth fret of the high E string. So. Back into the chorus again. And and then finally, over the top of the chorus, at the end of the song we have not as fast as that, I'm just showing you the notes. So we've got the seventh fret of the G and the seventh fret of the high E. Ninth fret of the G and the E. 11 of the G, 10 of the high E. 12 of the G and the E. And we finish on 14 of the G and the E. And that's the end of the song. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give me a like, subscribe and see you later.